I got a call last week from one of my new construction buyers and she was not happy. After months and months of looking for the ideal home in her price range, months of educating her how to buy in this hot seller's market, we finally found her the ideal home in a new construction community. This was finally the one, yay! She was already registered with me as her representative, so she went in, sat down with the builder's rep, worked out all the details, got pricing, everything was perfect. My client could not reach her husband to tell him of the awesome news that day. So the following Monday, the two of them went in together to see the model and to sit down and sign their paperwork. That's when they were told the house was now $12,000 more than what the wife was quoted a few days before. <laughs> Because they were already at the top of their price limit, they no longer qualified for the new loan amount. My clients were livid, and that's when my phone started blowing up. All I heard through the crying and yelling was, what a greedy liar the builder was. How can they possibly tell them one price one day, then two days later give them another price increase? Why was this being done to them, and what am I going to do about it? Now, before you jump to conclusions of how this story ends, I will tell you this. What happened to my home buyers had absolutely nothing to do with the integrity of the builder. And this whole ugly scene could have been prevented. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm here every single week with a new video from everything from real estate market forecast to discovering new neighborhoods together. But most importantly, you're gonna find all the information you need to make smart decisions when buying and selling a house. So please take a sec and hit the subscribe button. You'll be so glad you did. In a moment, I'm gonna tell you why this happened to my home buyers. It's not probably what you think. But more importantly, I'm gonna tell you how you can avoid this happening to you when buying a new construction home in 2021. Most people are unaware of the crippling effects 2020 had on new home construction. What the public sees is a lot of affordable communities popping up in abundance again. Because of the low inventory of existing home sales in a medium price range, new construction is an awesome answer to the shortage. Builders are barely keeping up. What the public does not see, though, is what goes on behind the new construction scenes. For one, there's a shortage of subcontractors and consistent skilled laborers. When the Great Depression hit about 10 years ago, a lot of these subcontractors lost their businesses and were forced to go into different directions in order to make a living. And the small number of those businesses are often individuals or family-owned businesses that are struggling to keep up with the COVID safety guidelines and keep skilled labor. But not even this is the biggest reason why new construction builders are struggling right now. The biggest thing that has blindsided builders right now is the sudden and dramatic increase in lumber prices. We're not talking about a few hundred dollars here. There has been a 130% increase in lumber prices alone, and the pricing is sporadic too. All through 2020, builders did a really great job of not trying to pass this cost on to the buyers, but it got worse. Now the price of concrete has skyrocketed, along with the increased price of drywall and a whole list of other building materials. You're probably wondering why the price of lumber and these essential building materials have gotten so out of control. And if you'd like to have that conversation, I would love to talk to you. You could find all my contact information down here in the description. And if that weren't enough, to further add pressure that these builders are under right now, some homes are not appraising at loan value. As a side note, when a buyer is financing, their lender is going to order an appraisal through a licensed appraiser. And these appraisers have to use like comparables when they're doing their evaluation. One of the problems is that the appraisers are having to use the exact same new construction home built and appraised four months ago compared to one that's built today that costs $20,000 more to build. There's an ongoing dispute about value now. So you see, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that the public is unaware of. Because of the craziness of 2020, it's inevitable that the builders just simply cannot absorb the cost of these skyrocketing materials cost and have no choice but to pass these costs on to the buyer. If they did not, obviously some builders would go out of business. But the bigger picture is, this is enabling builders to continue to meet the pent-up demand for affordable housing. And in turn, the economy grows stronger and Americans continue to stabilize their financial health and build their wealth 
through home ownership. Now, all that being said, it's very important to know that the planned new construction developments are corporate owned, and these decisions are made across the board. Although builders reps are told that there may be a price increase during a certain window of time, oftentimes these local builder reps are in the dark until the official word is actually handed down. So back to my story. We eventually got this couple into a home and they're extremely happy now. But all of this could have been avoided if they truly believed what they were being told all along. Folks, please listen. We are in uncharted borders here, and this crazy real estate market is beyond anything I've seen in my 20 plus years. What I'm about to tell you is an absolute must. No gray area here. When buying a new construction home, or any home really, and you get that this is the one feeling, do not hesitate for one second. Do whatever you need to do to take that house off the market and under contract for purchase. Things are changing at lightning speeds these days. Any hesitation will result in a lost opportunity. We live in an age of electronic signatures and virtual showings. There's no excuse to seize your ideal home, even if you have a home to sell first. If you'd like to learn more about how to make smart decisions when buying a new construction home, especially if you currently have a home that you need to sell first, you'll want to check out a playlist that I made for you. And as always, if you just want to chat about your next chapter, you'll find all my contact information below here. I'm Lisa Kelly, and until then, I'll see you on the next one.